First, you'll want to drag in your skybox image. I got mine from HDRS Skies, which I will link in the description. Depending on the resolution, it may take a bit for it to process. Then we'll have to change our texture type to cube. And make sure that read slash write enabled is enabled. If you are using a legacy cube map asset, it might show up as is readable or readable. Make sure to turn it on. Next, you'll want to click on the SDK tab, click on cube map extractor, and drag in your cube map. Then, you'll click extract. This may take a while, so I'll speed it up. Once it's done, go to the Assets folder, and you'll find all of your QMAP textures. Then, select all of them, set Compression to None, and turn off Generate Mipmaps, then click Apply. Afterwards, while the loading screen is open, you can click the SDK tab, and click Add Skybox to Loading Screen. This will create a new Skybox object which has the SteamVR Skybox script. On this script, you want to drag in all of the textures, which are named appropriately, into the slots. After that, your Skybox should work in-game. First, you want to drag in your audio file, wait for it to import. Then, you want to select it, and drag it into the loading screen. Then, Make sure Play on Awake is enabled, and if you want to, make it loop. After that, you can mess with the rest of the settings, such as Volume, Pitch, or Spatial Blend. Spatial Blend changes whether you hear it as 3D audio, or all the time, no matter where you are. After that, you should hear the audio in-game. 